Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. Today we are here in uh, just outside the Ballsbridge Hotel. We're here with Shane Pepper, also known as the Hulk. <laughs> and we're here with what's your name, son? Clayton. Clayton. And Reese. And Reese. We we're just getting our thoughts about the game just beforehand. So apparently it's um Moyla's in for O'Dowd and now. So how do you see the game panning out? I'll ask you first, Clayton. Right. Uh, I think it's gonna stay in a lot uh Two extra times there and then go 5 4 on penals. Oh, are going for penals, eh? Yeah. Good prediction. <laughs> and, and yourself, Reese? I say uh, James McLean, 1 0. James McLean, I said that too, good thinking. What about yourself, Shane? I'd like to see an early goal, James McLean maybe, and then I can see Denmark threatening and getting a goal, and then hopefully Shane Long coming on to make it 2 1. Are you, not, are you not freezing? I'm actually not. I was very worried about that day now. Yesterday, I was actually within two months I had to put it on and that. And um, in there. I says to myself, I'll see how, how the weather's like today. It's actually a lot warmer today than yesterday. Now it sounds a bit, but it was. So uh, we just remember it. And the paint actually blocks our pores, so it'll be actually warm. Now, I'd say a half nine, it'll be cold. Yeah, Don't yeah. get me wrong, the adrenaline and everything else just get me going. So. Well, hopefully we'll be winning by that point, you get a couple of points. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. I don't drink now, but uh, we'll be celebrating. I mean, we'll go for something to eat or something, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Well, thanks very much. I enjoyed so, the game, Irish Football Fan TV. Phil here, just joined by some of the fans before the game. Uh, I'm a bag of nerves anyway. How are uh, you uh, feeling uh, beforehand? Uh, no, that's better really than The few points they've sent me, but... How can it go, it's, I suppose? It's, it's, it's going to be a tight one, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's going to be too tight now for... I don't know. I, yeah. can, I, I can see us getting done on away goals. Yeah. Um, but Moyla seems to be kind of the only change we've heard about yeah. so far. Um, how would you like to see the teams? Wesley has to play. Do you think? I, for me, he has to play. And yourself? I can't say much more than that. Like, Wesley yeah, has Wesley, to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open them up. Fuck it. I, 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 Moyla, Moyla come back in as well, like, maybe. Like, but yeah. That's yeah. about it, like, I suppose. Like, we get uh, some score predictions. I'd say 3-1 to the Irish, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And who's who your goal scorers? I say Shillong will get two if Ricky's duck. Hey, hold me to that now. Two dog. goals, yeah. yeah. I say Robbie Ray <laughs> score three. So they settle the draw. And yourself? We'll scrape a 1-0. Scrape a 1-0. Shane nil. Duffy going to head our home from a corner about 10 minutes to go. Well, there you have it. Anyway, stay here, Irish Football Fan TV. We've got Shane here, subscriber. Um, what are your thoughts on going into the game? The teams were named and everything, and it's Moyler in for doubt is the only chain. So what are you thinking after that? Yeah, I think uh, Myler will he'll need will need the extra offensive push yeah. after the last game. You know, we just didn't have like the long balls into the box, and that's what we need. Yeah, going into this game, especially like we need a goal. Yeah. And what do you think of Darren Murphy uh, staying in ahead of Shane Long? Obviously, Long hasn't scored in the guts of two years at this point, but he did give us a bit extra when he came on at Copenhagen. Yeah, I know. Uh, I I'd say Long will come on after a while. Yeah. And just sort of gives the push that we need. Yeah. And then, then what do you think the score is going to be? Uh, I'd say I, we might get the goal after extra time. Okay, I think so. so. 1-0 after extra time. I'd say so, yeah. All right, I'll take that actually yeah. as well. Right, thank you very much. I enjoyed the game. And thank we'll you. talk to you again soon. Cheers for subscribing as well. <laughs> thank Thanks. Just here, uh, the ground. What's your name? Martin. Martin, we're just here with Martin and just getting some predictions before the game. So obviously, um, Odell is out, Moyla's back in. So uh, how do you feel about Shane Long? Not starting and Darren Murphy back up top again. Obviously, he had a bit of a poor game the other night. How do you feel about that? I think Milo back in was a good decision, definitely. But I can't see him changing from what we've done the other night. Unless we really go from that, I can see it going all the way to penalty shootout. Would you not argue that was stronger now with Milo back in the team? And I know how they came in, but uh, Brady's back out on the right. We definitely are defensively, but we weren't bad defensively the other night as well. So I think, I don't know, I can't see it changing from the other night. I can't see it going forward much more than we did. So I can see a nil nil all the way again. Okay, and uh, so, so it's nil nil, how do you see it going after extra time? After extra time, that's anyone's, to be honest. Penalty shoot would be great for us to win, but I don't know. I'd, I can't see them scoring before us. Okay, that's so, 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 so your, your final prediction would be? I've done a bet, us to win on penalties. Don't go with your bet, man. Cheers, you don't All right, well, thanks very much for coming on the show, man. No problem. Cheers. We're just here with Rory from uh, County Down. Uh, he's just come back from the Aviva Stadium. What did you make of the game, Rory? I thought after after a big fucking start, we just didn't kick on. Like it's like it's like going back to the trap with Tony here. We just sat back after we won the lot. Like yeah. 
invited them on. It reminded me a bit of the Croatia game with the Euros under Trapatoni tonight. <sighs> Even like that was against a fucking good team. Like this was against a fucking average team. We invited them on, and we even lost by more, like, five fucking one, like, what more yeah. can you say? But, in all fairness, you, you look at the players that they have, they do have some good players, obviously, in, in Christian Eriks, they have a world-class player, and to give him the time on the ball that our players did, you're going to be punished, do you not agree? I mean, like, they, they knew that two months ago, Eriksson was the main man, and he scored a hat-trick tonight. Yeah. So... But that's, does that not go to show Maybe that they're only player? Yeah, but does that does that not go to show that the other night when we got a point and everyone was complaining about the negative football that we went out, but we still got went out and got a result nil nil was actually a bit of a tactical masterclass by Martin O'Neill. But at the same time, tonight he probably went a bit overboard in in, in trying to attack them, and it probably we, in in retrospect we probably scored too early. We, we did score too early. This just happens a lot with our own team. It scored here, and we don't know what to do once we're one up. So naturally, they hang back. Denmark, that suits Denmark. They can get the ball, to Ericsson, play the ball, five-one. Yeah, well, the prime example I thought was the the second goal when Ward uh, was caught in possession, and they just punished us on the counter. And I mean, it was some goal by Ericsson, in fairness. Um, but you get someone, as I say, that uh, that amount of time on the ball, it's gonna punish it's you. Got, we it? go two-one down. There's a there's no plan B. Like, Bring Long on the second half. What, 20 Far minutes ago? Pull the hand, money come on. Half time. Too late. Alright, and uh, well obviously we're out now. Like, What do you see for the squad going forward? Uh, should O'Neill stay or should he go? Should some new bloke come in? How do you feel about that? I'm sure uh, like, there's a little, there'll be a lot of clubs looking O'Neill and probably our national teams looking O'Neill. So it's up to him. And if he was to go, who would you take in? Big Richard Dunn, like. as the manager. As straight in as manager. <laughs> Are you sure about that now? <laughs> Who else is that? Someone's made me laugh. Tonight. Who else is there? Uh, Chris Hutton. Chris Hutton would be great show. Great show. I mean, after that, who, who else is, kind of is there? Do you know what I mean? Well, like right. O'Neill sign on for the next campaign anyway. So no, nah, well, it was the lads were in the press conference tonight, and yeah, he, apparently he just, it was just a verbal agreement, so nothing signed yet, and uh, his future isn't actually um, tied down. Apparently, so maybe Keane will take over then, will he? Yeah, we'll have to see. Would you would you like to see Roy Keane in charge? Love it. Do you, do you not think much would change from what it is now? Uh, who else is there? Like who would take it on? Big Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you said that earlier, but anyway. Um, all right, well, uh, and, and like if, if if you were to get rid of any of the current squad, who would you be getting rid of now? They've all done well this year. They've all done well. I think some of them, it's 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 times can be wielded out. The likes of O'Shea. O'Shea didn't I, well, play. Uh, 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 O'Shea didn't fucking play, so. Yeah, but he's down at the bottom of the championship with, with Sunderland and he's, he's not doing too much. I mean, he's, he's been good for the squad. Glenn Whelan, another one who needs to kind of be ushered out. Glenn Thanks Whelan's for your service. And I didn't know Shea was even in the squad. He should be gone. But there's, there's, there's these type of players. Youth, but there's no youth coming through either. Like, that's that's ah, the there, problem. There, there is a lot of youth coming through. There's Conor Hurling like, coming through. Then there's obviously Matt Doherty. There's Ennis Stevens. Then there's Declan Royce at West Ham. There's, there is players there. Connor uh, Round and the Wolves. Are they going well. to the make the Euros 2020? Well, we don't know. But that's the thing. We need a manager who's going to let them play, let, uh, bring them into the squad. That's what I'm saying to you. Get Shawnee McGuire back. Like, exactly. There's another know. one. Yeah, we don't have a goal scorer. We could do him. Liam Kelly at Reading. You know, there is these players there. They're only one level down from the Premier League and they're all young. It's here. Yeah. Well, anyway, Roy, this, thanks. This was, this was the squad. Like This, this was the pinnacle. Um, I don't. I, think, I don't believe so. I think the, the youth could have been. Could have been we'll let, we didn't let ourselves down tonight. We let ourselves down Saturday by not going for it. I thought it was Saturday was a great result. It was, but we didn't attack. We didn't go for it. Yeah, we, we could have won hang, that we, fucking game. We were hanging on to attack for tonight. We, we could have won that that's game. What Saturday. That's what happened. That's what happened tonight. Five one. We could have won that game on Saturday though. Could have sneaked it. We've had an attack. Uh, 
I don't know. Well, uh, anyway, guys, let us know your thoughts uh, in the comments. Uh, Rory, thanks very much for coming on the show. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. As your man, I will subscribe. <laughs> All right, thanks very much, Rory. How's it going, guys? We're just here with Vinny and James. They're just they're coming from the Aviva Stadium, obviously, after watching Ireland lose 5 1 to Denmark at the Aviva Stadium. Um, how did you feel the game went? Uh, were you happy with the start we made? What did you think of the lineup? Look, we could have started maybe a more attacking lineup when we started off. We should have went out to win from the start. Top, we're kind of defensive. We always kind of looking for goals from set paces and stuff like that, and trying to pass away through. Maybe Shane Long he got through in the second half with a true ball like that could have been better. But then again, like the Danish went out and beat Poland four 0 in the same way. Christian Eriksen scored goals in that game as well. And, you know, we're beat by one player maybe tonight. World class. Yeah, yeah well, two goals and a penalty as well. He won like so. It could have been a different occasion if. It was so lucky the way they got their goal and then when Murphy missed that chance in the first half as well, it was inches away as well. It could have been totally different if we were turning it up. Yeah, well, last night I did a Skype interview with a, with a Danish fan. He was actually saying that the, the night when they actually played Poland, it was just a night where just everything clicked and if Eriksen was to click, that was going to be the case. And that seemed to ha happen tonight. How did you feel it went, James? It could have went a lot better. <laughs> all in all, uh, and all in all, I would say that either way, we're looking to get bit. That's the way it was going. We were going to get beat. 5-1, you can't argue with that result at all. It could have been a lot worse. We could have been winning. Got a couple of last minute goals. It could have been a lot worse. It's easier to take than a 90th minute, yeah. one all draw, or 2-1, at least halfway through the game. You know, we're kind of consigned to the result. And it's an easier bullet to take walking out and Obviously, five one is you know people were a bit embarrassing, but like they, de they deserve to win an individual thing. Not that I thought we played particularly bad. You know, obviously five one is a bad scoreline, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. The three world class goals from Ericsson. Yeah, the absolutely. Goals. And like you, you're looking at it, um, they were the better team, and they, they did deserve to win. And hats off to Denmark. And you know, a lot of Danish fans have been watching our videos lately, and hats off to us. But Going forward, what do you think the plan is? Should O'Neill stay or should he go? And uh, if he does stay, should it be an exodus of older players and start bringing through some youth now for the next uh, range of qualifiers and stuff like that for the Euros? You know, definitely. I think he has to bring through young players through now, like the likes of Daryl Murphy, thirty-four years of age, Wes Hoodland, thirty-six. And I know people calling from the start tonight, but he is thirty-six and can't get on the championship team. We're like even like totally agree. Greg Greg Cunningham. Has been championship, as well. championship, Steve's mate. Yeah, championship player of the player of the year or team of the year. Sorry, last two years running at left back. He had run with Stephen Ward, which probably not that he did anything wrong through the campaign, but probably tonight, get, yeah. getting too too old. And he hasn't been really in the squad at all. Connor Herhan is another one that is attacking midfielder, yeah. scoring goals, and a midfielder maybe him and Arthur with Myler behind would would make a much yeah. sense. And I would say take a chance, sacrifice one or two tournaments to kind of bleed the players into the team so eventually make it maybe an 8 to 10 year plan and really put your eggs in one basket a bit like the Germans did in a sense yeah yeah why not because there's no point in trying to keep half the team and then bringing half a youth team in and making that work just go for broke go for broke bring the young players in if struggle for 4 years if so and then try and make the best of it in come six, eight years time. Yeah. Long term plan. I don't basically. think I don't think that we uh, we're that far off being a good side. I mean, we got Odell, uh, Shawnee McGuire. Yeah. Um, we got uh, these players coming I don't through. Think I, I don't think we're that far off. I don't think it's going to be a case where we're going to have to struggle through the next mm. couple of, or a couple of campaigns. I think. I think it's just about blooding them. Yeah, it's, giving it's them a chance, given, given, moving given the older players, players on. Yeah. Because even if we did qualify for a World Cup, you have. We're talking about Johnny Walters would have been 34, Shane Long was 31, Darren Murphy would have been 35, Wes would have been 36. Yeah. You know, these, these are players maybe it's that just need, need to move on yeah. and we'll, we'll start fresh with the younger and players coming through that are playing well in the championship yeah. and our progress. But at the same time, we still have Seamus Coleman to come back too. Exactly, he's only 29. He's our best player. Yeah, that's, exactly. not, that's, not, that's not right. We don't have yeah. hindsight, we don't have foresight. What can we do? We just take the chance. Yeah lead the best players we have into the team and hope for the best ok and uh, just uh, finally um, O'Neill in or O'Neill out well who do you bring in 
he's doing a good job he is doing a good job you're taking a chance again hindsight's yeah. a great thing you can bring in a better manager on paper but what do you do with a better manager will he get better results you don't know it's all a risk he's in for me as long as he can be you know, loyal to players move them on and take it a new squad yeah. but it's a yeah. problem with a lot of Irish Mick McCarthy fell fell to it not bringing in fresh, being too loyal to players, they're too old. Uh, Trap Tony to even an extent again, like you'd, in, the, in the Euros, you'd John O'Shea starting a right back, Seamus Coleman not even brought to it, you know, not didn't have the ability to build them through. And it's about bringing in fresh players and moving them on. Okay. If you can do that, he can, he's the man for And he will be back. If it, if it was a case of getting Chris Hutton in, would you be happy with him, maybe? Well, Chris Hutton, I wouldn't mind Chris Hutton at all. Like, you know, he's yeah, why not? Proven. If, uh, I'm, not saying, I'm, not, I'm not campaigning for O'Neill out yeah. by any any stretch of the imagination. I'm just saying. But, but if O'Neill was out, he's uh, an obvious choice. Yeah. Uh, and maybe so, maybe Michael O'Neill from the North, who's staggering on a contract as well. Yeah, Brian does, Kernow, crack it. <laughs> <laughs> why not? I think Michael O'Neill <laughs> might cause a bit of a blow, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Well, not for us, maybe up there. <laughs> Yeah, well, listen, that's uh, Vinnie James. Thanks very much for coming no on the show. Appreciate that. And uh, guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Um, thanks very much for coming on the show again. Let's no appreciate thanks that. Thanks right? Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out our channel. Thank you.